Uh, Mr. Speaker, once again, uh, we are moved and compelled to come to the House floor to deal with the seemingly unending problem of police violence in America. Over the last year, we've seen a parade of horribles, examples of police violence caught on video for all of America to see. We're compelled to ask the question, what more does Congress need to see in order to understand that we've got a problem that requires Democrats and Republicans, people in the House and the Senate, working in partnership with the President to address? I certainly am of the view that the overwhelming majority of law enforcement officers are hardworking individuals who are there to protect and serve the community. But how can we continue to turn a blind eye to the fact that police violence all across America essentially has presented an epidemic of injustice that we've got to deal with in a free and democratic society? What more does the Congress need to see? We saw 12-year-old Tamir Rice gunned down by a police officer in what many view as a drive-by shooting. Tamir Rice didn't present any danger to the officer who simply pulled up and, without warning, shot him dead to the ground based on a call that had been made that someone seemed to have a toy gun. And then, of course, in New York City, Eric Garner was strangled to death with the use of a chokehold employed by a police officer, despite the fact that for the previous 20 years, chokeholds had been unauthorized as part of the policy of the NYPD. Eleven different times, Eric Garner, a father of six, said he couldn't breathe. And on 11 different occasions, the officers who were there failed to respond to Mr. Garner's pleas for help. And as a result, he was killed on a New York City street for all the world to see. And then a grand jury fails to indict, even on simple assault. And now, of course, we've got the tragedy of Walter Scott, someone who was killed running away from a police officer after having been tased. And it's not clear to me that if a courageous bystander hadn't captured that incident on video, the officer responsible for killing Walter Scott may be patrolling the streets of South Carolina today. What more does Congress need to see to realize that we've got a problem that needs to be addressed? 